With the release of Jonathan Hyde's The Anxious Generation, the effect of social media on kids' mental health is once again in the spotlight. The book investigates the collapse of youth mental health and a plan for a healthier, freer childhood. And in the classroom, these mental health issues are experienced daily. Mental health. Um, there's a lot of research out on anxiety and depression and how they're, they're skyrocketing in young people. Um, and it's correlated with the onset of because smartphones and social media, um, it's kind of grown with that and, and students that? themselves tell me those things like we talk about it in my psych classes and they, they tell me they wish they could put it away. And because it's hard to avoid the easy access to technology the phones provide, it's even easier for students to give in to phone addiction. I have definitely seen um, a change, I've been teaching for 22 years, in students um, just kind of motivation curiosity levels, ability to interact with people in real life, and part of that's from COVID, but um, just the the default mode being when I'm bored I look at my phone, when I'm sad I look at my phone, when I'm anxious I look at my phone, when I don't want to be left out I look at my phone, um, when there's a million other things you could be doing. Some students have found it difficult to focus in class or even sleep at night knowing that there's a distraction on the other side of the screen. I see kids struggle with is somewhat of a loss of a sense of reality. Um, it's, I know that's huge and global, but that basically like things that used to normally come to kids and um, that they just kind of knew because they were out and about it's doing things, they don't anymore. And so they'll, they have things that they'll say based on what they've read and what they've seen versus their own experiences. A lot of my like friends and people I know that are addicted to social media and like Instagram reels or like TikTok and just in general being like addicted to their phones um, which is like a lot of procrastination happens in like schoolwork or in general just when you need to get stuff done at your house or at school specifically like with a lot of missing assignments that I've like seen my friends have or I have had before um, social media does not help in a way that it should. Having uncomfortable and honest conversations might be the key to changing habits. Through college as well those conversations and communicating with them is more important at this later age of childhood or teenage or young adult than even um, than it was in the past. For Jack TV, this was Annika Vasquez with Lily Adams reporting.